Hey guys, it's Jason here from the Cracktastic Plastic Podcast, coming at you with another Thrill of the Hunt video. What a weekend. Just got back from the QuadCon in Cedar Rapids. Um, the particular QuadCon in Cedar Rapids is really one of the biggest comic book and toy shows in Iowa, um, at least once a year. It was at this big fancy event center. Don't remember the name. Not important, but what was cool is Sergeant Slaughter was there, right? How freaking awesome is that? Real American hero in the house. Uh, it was really cool to see him. Um, some of my Joe friends got to meet him. It was really great. Um, and I just wanted to show you what things I walked away with from that wonderful day. Um, it's actually all Transformer stuff. Uh, my pal Jason Zbornik. He, uh, he he brought me some stuff. I got this Transformers comic book. It's uh, number 60. I think there were 80, right, total in the original run. And I have probably the first half or so, and so now it's just picking up the last half. And I, don't, I, I wish I could do it in a chunk, um, but, yeah, right now, anyway. So this is, yeah, this is a fun little issue. Can't wait to, yeah, I probably won't read it till I get, you know, the ones in the order, but I'm excited to have it. Um, great colors though, right? Look at that hot pink and purple. and That's cool. Um, see a Starscream by Starscream. I don't think I have this guy. I think I will open him. Um, it's a Wendy's, Wendy's toy, Starscream. Oops, still got the $4 tag on there. Um, that's what I paid for him. Cute little fella. Yeah, I'll definitely open him. Um, it looks like he comes with a, with some head options, some face options. A little cutie. Look at that guy from the Thrilling 35. Yeah, a little Wendy's toy. A little blind baggy. Not blind bag, but you know, one of their meal toys. Um, and then couple big fellas I think toy wise I I was only gonna buy I was only gonna get toys that are purple purple and gray that's the big hint um pal Jason's Bornick had this guy for me too I've never had them before uh, these next two are G ones uh, this I've never never played with this guy before never really seen him or had a chance to play with them but the G1 version, and holy moly, I just think he is swell. It's that guy, Cyclonus. Look at this guy. Oh, he's so mean. Arr, arr. What is that? Um, yeah, Cyclonus. He's in pretty great shape. Thank you, Jason. A lot of great stickers still. Um, yeah, just so fun. So fun to finally... Have him check him off of that G1 list. So happy to play with him. So cool. And then it happened. I uh, so I've been I I just completed the 1984 wave, the first line, the first year, the first year of Transformers. It was like 27, 28 toys, and so. I'll, Naturally started working on the 1985 wave of toys and I only had had three left on it and uh, This next guy is one It's a big deal in a way cuz like You know if you ever If you could if you had a wish one of my first wishes would be I wished I had a better memory and it it's never been more apparent since starting this podcast and this collecting toys where I'm like I deal in so much nostalgia I wish I really wish my memory was better so I could remember some people can man they're like oh yeah on when I was this old on this Christmas I got this toy I'm like no nope, it's too fuzzy for me it's sad but one of the few 
I have some, but one of the few memories of the toys I remember having as a kid was this next guy. And so super special to me just because I do have that memory of having him as a kid. So much so that uh, Spooty kind of ended up with, you know, we shared toys. So he he got him. He, we still had the original toy as kids. And it's the one that Spooty has in his collection. So I'd see it and I'd be like, oh, he's right there. But, you know, just through whatever circumstance, Spooty had laid claim to him. So it's fine. And even though I was butt hurt for a while, probably. But uh, uh, I was so... Yeah, and, and then so it's like toy show, walking through, you know, there's not a ton of Transformers, but there's some, and and then your eyes just see it, and he's there on the shelf, and we all talk about it, and just suddenly he's in your hand, and you're like, Whoa, I don't even remember picking you up, guy, you know, whatever toy you are, and so... That definitely happened, and it was great because Michelle uh, came with me, and we both got to go to this fun toy show together, and she surely saw that happen, and I, you know, everything else kind of goes fuzzy, and and uh, she got to see me with the inner struggle of, well, he was asking a lot of money for it, because this, this is a guy that I wasn't sure I was going to be able to get anytime soon. Because he is, he is expensive nowadays to get a good one. And so I put it down and walked away. And we hadn't even got through our first lap yet. Because, you know, you got to take a lap first, right? And so she got to see me, like, the inner struggle, the dialogue of, like, oh, man. She knew. She knew I was going back. And after our first lap. And it was time to just step outside and catch some fresh air. I was like, you know, she's like, now what do you want to do? And I'm like, well, I, the first thing I have to do is to go back and start talking to the, the vendor and see what, uh, see how much we can talk him down. Simultaneously get him out of the bag and make sure he still works and is good. And all right, I know I'm bad at this. I always, I should have showed you the toy first. And just too much preamble, but uh, I was able to uh, talk him down for a good price, and and the vendor's a great guy, and and uh, helped me get Shockwave. Oh, he's so pretty! Oh man, I just uh, I just didn't expect to find him in the wild. You know, that's half the fun. I gotta clean him up. Uh, you know. You find them online, and it's you know, when you're spending money on the bigger toy, it's hard to trust it. You know, it's I mean, you can and you can make you know the seller send you 97 pics and and videos and show you, you know, that they work and they stand. This guy notoriously doesn't stand very well because these knees just they don't lock all the time and and. He's got his hose. It's intact. It's it's deteriorated to shit. You can see, you know, right there. But eh, I think Spooty actually, he fixed his and could fix mine if I wanted to. But one of the important, and he, and he comes with his, he was complete for that reason. And But he, uh, his, his electronics worked. And man... You know, you just heard it, and you're like, oh, that sounds like the 80s. And uh, it's just so great. Uh, such nostalgia. Um, both both sounds. Oh, man. It's just, it's amazing. I, just so happy he works, and he looks great. He's in pretty good shape. He's clean as heck, and and super pleased, um, pleased to heck with him. He's so great. So happy to have them. Shockwave. And so now I'm only down to two more for the 1985 wave. So it's a big, big purchase. Super glad to have found him in the wild and went home with him. It's, y'all know that feeling, how great that is. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching these videos and listening to the podcast. And you know, we appreciate the heck out of it. 
please, if you haven't, hit that like button down there. Hit that subscribe button so you know when new sh new videos come out. Um, we, we love seeing them comments, and it's really fun commenting with you guys and chatting back and forth on these videos. So we appreciate it. All the other links and things can all be found at cracktasticplastic.com. That's the place to be. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for being awesome, guys.